Walking six miles a day is one of the best habits I've ever gotten into. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you five tips on how to make it easier. Walking six miles a day was super helpful on the weight loss journey. Not so much for the calorie burn, but really because it helped me to stop stress eating and it really gave me a good mood boost every day. But the idea of walking six miles a day can feel kind of intimidating. So I'm gonna give you some tips on how to make this all easier and more doable. So the first tip is commit. Simply decide that you're doing this because that's a big part of this is just saying you're doing it. Once you decide and you're committed, then the rest of the stuff is really easy, but it's when we're in those like, I'm not really sure if I want to, or I'm gonna just kind of see how it goes. That's when it's really difficult. So instead, make the decision you're doing this. Tell yourself how many times a week you're committed to doing this and then do it. The thing is, is if you're not committed, then every morning you're going to wake up and kind of debate in your mind, do I want to try to walk six miles? Do I not? And usually it's going to end up that you're not going to want to walk it. So uh, instead, just say, I'm doing it and then you'll do it. And if you're struggling with deciding that you want to do it, Dig into why, like, why does that even appeal to you? The idea of walking six miles, uh, you know, I have plenty of my own reasons, but it's important for you to have yours and that will help keep you going. Tip number two is to break your steps up throughout the day. Now, the thing about walking six miles is it's not that physically hard to do. If, if you're, you know, in reasonably uh, good physical condition, uh, you're not like injured uh, or something like that, you can probably just go out and walk six miles. Like it doesn't take a lot of training or anything to get to that point, but it does take a certain amount of mental toughness to just get out there and do the thing. So instead of trying to do it all in one big thing, you know, two hours is probably what it's going to take you if you walk at about a three mile per hour pace. Instead, just break it up and do like 15 minutes here, 20 minutes there, 30 minutes uh, at another time during the day. And eventually you'll have your step goal in without it really feeling like it was a big commitment of time. And the advantage of that too is, especially in the early days when you're not used to it, your body's just not used to it, uh, that gives you the opportunity to rest and, and sit down and take a break, uh, which makes the whole thing more enjoyable. Which brings me to tip number three, and that's make it enjoyable. You know, if, if you hate this thing that you're doing, you're not gonna stick with it for very long. And the thing is, is that even if you don't like it to start out with, you really can teach yourself to enjoy it. You know, in the beginning, I kind of thought it was boring. I kind of thought this isn't doing enough, but I decided to use that time, that big chunk of time that I was using to walk. I used it uh, to listen to podcasts and I've learned a ton of stuff. And you could also listen to, you know, audiobooks, or uh, you could, uh, call people that you wanna to talk to and just walk around talking on your phone while you're getting your steps in. And also you can listen to music and or even like stand-up comedy. That was something I really liked doing in the early days. Tip number four is track your progress. You know, uh, it's one thing to, you know, say I walk six miles a day, but over time, when you start to see how much uh, you're walking, you know, day after day and how much that adds up over the course of a month and then over the course of a year, and now I've been doing this for, uh, almost six years now. And it's just incredible to see how much I've walked since I first began. You know, I've got a Fitbit Alta and I love it. Uh, really any kind of tracker will, will help you with this. Anything that compiles your data for you, you just have to like strap your uh, tracker on and then just walk. That's really helpful because it, it alerts you to when you are done with your step goal for the day. And, and it's just one less thing to think about. And seeing your progress over time really is motivating. Tip number five is set personal best and also celebrate your victories. So in the beginning, 14,000 steps for me, and that's six miles for my, for my stride length, uh, it felt really like a lot, you know? And so what I started to do was I would occasionally go past that step goal just to hit a personal best. I did that once a month. And that was really helpful for two reasons. One, it gave me a little bit of a challenge. Just every month, I was just trying to surpass what I had done the previous month, just by a little. And then as my personal best for steps started to get bigger and bigger, it made my daily step goal seem easier and easier because, you know, like after you've walked, say, 28,000 steps in a day, 
uh, 14,000 in a day doesn't seem like very much. But of course, there does come a point where this can kind of get out of control. Like my personal best is uh, uh, over 100,000 steps in a single day. And uh, I don't really feel the motivation to break that one uh, yet. And also celebrate your victories. When you have a personal best, give yourself a pat on the back. It doesn't have to be that you go out and buy yourself something. Just say to yourself like, yeah, I did it. And I know that sounds maybe overly simple to just tell yourself that, like just give yourself that kind of like little pep talk, but it's really motivating when you encourage yourself. So in the end, I think walking six miles a day is a great goal to have. Not only did it help me to stop stress eating and just to stick with my fasting window better, but it also helped me to uh, be more self-disciplined and it gave me uh, a degree of mental toughness, I think, which of course helped me in the weight loss journey. So I hope that these tips help you if you're trying to also get in this habit of walking six miles a day. It's easy to get overwhelmed by all the conflicting information on the internet about intermittent fasting. I lost 80 pounds by practicing this in a sustainable, relaxed way. My book, The Laid Back Guide to Intermittent Fasting, guides you through the process of getting started, how to practice it, and things to try if you start having trouble. Click on the link on the screen or in the video description to buy your copy today.